Please try. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most devious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord. And let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, answer concise in heart and ears. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophet did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. 
now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus explained to the Jews that it was not Moses, but God, his heavenly Father, who had given them manna from heaven. He then claimed that he was more than a provider of bread like Moses, because he was himself the bread that the Father was providing. In other words, Jesus is the heavenly manna whom the Father has sent to the world as the bread of life. Thus, Jesus clarifies that the manna given to Moses and the people was not the real bread from heaven, but only a symbol of the bread to come. Jesus also demands from them an absolute faith in himself as the Son of God and the bread of life if they do not want to hunger and thirst again. Jesus uses the metaphor of food and drink to show that he is the one who really meets all men's essential needs and noblest aspirations. Jesus kept his promise and he continues to feed us with his body and blood 
in the Holy Eucharist. So let us nourish our souls with this heavenly manna. And also, let us remember that our duty is to carry this Jesus to our homes, to our workplace, radiating his love, mercy, and compassion to all around us. So the bread of life will get a new meaning, a meaning to our own life. He became the bread of life for save us, save us from the uh, stains of the sins. He would like to wash all the stains of our sins, which might have affected our soul. So we needed to be saved by this bread of Lord Jesus Christ, just given from heaven itself. And right now we are receiving him through the Holy Eucharist. This one is greater importance in our life other than anything else. So this is the life-giving bread which we are receiving. The life means the spiritual life or the eternity. Amen. As we hear the words from Scripture, our hearts burn for a longing with God. With the hope of Easter in mind, let us express our needs in prayer. For our church, that it will remain faithful to the gospel of repentance and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders in government, that they will strive to make justice their aim as they make laws to govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are dying, that they may know the peace of the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our country and an end to bickering and hatred. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass because of the COVID pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Mary Hope Munoz, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, we know that you hear our prayers and we ask that you grant them through your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, those, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountiful holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving, thanks broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, I remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Lamb of God. 
Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those of you at home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy God, we praise thy name. They already started that one. <laughs>